Hello from the New Zealand mountains. This time I wanted to share my Stream Deck Plus profile to control the Garmin G1000 avionics system. This profile works with both Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and 2024 versions. What makes this profile really useful is that it works with all planes equipped with the Garmin G1000. All you need is the free Pilot's Deck plugging and this profile. The download link and more details are in the description below. Today I'm flying the Cirrus SR22. In this plane the G1000 has two screens. Primary flight display, PFD and multifunction display, MFD. As well as a dedicated autopilot unit. Different planes have different layouts, especially for autopilot, but the functions remain the same. This profile has three pages and the first one is dedicated to autopilot controls. First you have a button to toggle autopilot on and off. For navigation there are three buttons. First one toggles approach mode when flying with the flight plan and preparing to land. The navigation button makes the plane follow the current flight plan. When heading mode is toggled on, you can set the desired heading using the second knob and pressing it sets the heading to your current direction. In the right corner you'll find the altitude hold button and the fourth knob controls the selected altitude. Pressing the knob lets you switch the increment between 100 and 1000 feet. The VS button toggles vertical speed mode, activating the third knob for VS value selection. When FLC mode is selected, the same knob controls the threshold value for FLC and pressing it toggles between manual and FMS speed mode. At the top right there's the level button which is only available in certain planes with specific G1000 models. This is essentially a panic button that instantly levels the plane when needed. The first knob sets the parameter value and pressing it sets the standard pressure setting. On the second page you get a completely different setup, giving you controls for the PFD screen. The buttons include direct flight, menu, flight plan, procedures, clear and enter actions. The second knob controls PFD range if any map is selected and the screen name is also displayed to help you recognize which screen is being controlled. The G1000 has a FMS knob with inner and outer rings, but since the Stream Deck knob only has a single function, I have split it into two controls. The third knob controls the outer ring and the fourth knob controls the inner ring. For example, in direct flight mode, use the left knob to select which value you want to set and use the right knob to enter the value. The G1000 series also has multiple soft keys at the bottom of the screen with functions that change depending on the menu. To control all the buttons you can select the index from the knob and pressing the knob mimics the selected soft key button. Last but not least we have the third profile page. This works similarly to the previous page but instead of the PFD screen it controls the MFD screen. The knobs adjust range, FMS selection or soft keys and the buttons have the same dedicated functions as before. The only addition is the home button which takes you directly to the main map view. That was a sneak peek at my G1000 Stream Deck profile. Hopefully you find it useful too. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out the future updates. I'll be adding more content soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the sky.